Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested video. I was requested to do a video about uh, Creative Haven and Dover Publications, which are uh, the same publisher, just under a different name and format of, of books. And uh, Stephanie Ray asked me if I would do this video. And she asked if I would go ahead and show my collection of Creative Haven and Dover books, as well as talk about them and what I think of them um, in this video. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, um, if you guys have watched some of my flip throughs and reviews as of late, I have been showing some Creative Haven and Dover books, and there's been just a, a lot of gorgeous, wonderful, luscious books being published lately, and so I think as of late, I think Creative Haven and Dover have gotten to be a little bit overlooked because of the amount of other books that have been published that a lot of people are um, raving about, including myself. So I wanted to go ahead and just show you just what great books these books are and to show you that there's such a vast variety of different subjects that you can get from Creative Haven and Dover. They are reasonably priced books. They're not very expensive at all. And so a lot of times when I'm shopping on Amazon, I will just throw in a, a Dover or Creative Haven book. Uh, because they are um, so inexpensive. And when I first started doing my coloring, that is pretty much all I got was Dover and Creative Haven books because I really liked them. That was what I was most familiar with when I was shopping for coloring books and stuff. And I'm just going to adjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. Um, so that was what I was getting when I was uh, shopping for coloring books, you know, back when I was very green at this uh, before I discovered a lot of other things. But I still love my Creative Haven and Dover books. And I'm going to show you why I love them. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ones that I do have. They There are several different formats. And I think um, hopefully, you know, this will get you guys a little bit more, more familiar with what they actually do have to offer. Now, there are books under the Creative Haven name and they're going to look like this okay so you, you have the creative haven up here and then you just you have a the title and then the a picture of what is actually in the book and then on the back you get just some information about the publisher and the book and stuff and this one here is called christmas mandalas and i, I put my christmasy holiday things up on top which i'm going to go ahead and and just um when i show you the collection i'm just going to go ahead and and uh you know show you everything now uh, true Confessions here. Now, a lot of these books that I have, and I have a lot of them, right now, most of them remained uncolored in, and I will tell you why, is because back in the day when I was doing this, <laughs> when I first started doing this, um, I was very quirky, and I did not color in my books directly. I would copy the pictures that I wanted to color onto different paper because I had this thing about preserving the life of my book and not coloring in it so I could enjoy the image again. And there's some books that I still will do that. Like, um, you know, if it's a limited edition one, then I will, you know, try to copy the pictures onto some different paper so I can um, keep the book intact. But um, I kind of got over that quirkiness and I said, you know what, I just need to get over myself. These books were made to color in and it just got to be a pain in the butt to copy because what I would do is I would copy a bunch at a time and I have, I kid you not, I have folders and folders and folders of copied colored pages that I need to finish up. Um, out of these, uh, mostly they're out of these Creative Haven and Dover books that I have um, copied onto different paper and such. So that is why most of the books here will remain uncolored in. I will show you the stuff that I have colored when I get to that book, if I remember, <laughs> if I remember what I've colored and so forth. But, um, but you know, that's not going to be happening for long as far as like keeping the book um, uncolored in, because I am going to be coloring in these books a lot more because I have them and I like them. Um, I love the designs in them, so they deserve some attention. And I decided that I need to get over that little quirkiness that I had, and I'm going to color right in my books. And the fact that these books are very inexpensive, really. Um, and if it really comes down to it, I can always buy a second book um, if need be. So it's not the end of the world um, that way. So let me just go ahead and show you what I have, and I will talk about the, the books, okay? So first of all, um, okay, I'll show you the holiday ones here first. I have Christmas mandalas. Um, this one has remained uncolored in. I've copied a bunch of the pages out of this book. Um, 
snowflake mandalas. Now, some of these Creative Haven books are going to tell you that they're for advanced colorists. There's some of the designs in some of the books that are not very difficult at all. And the snowflake mandalas, though, it's going to tell you that it's for an advanced colors because these are very, very detailed. Um, a lot of these pictures in here are very detailed. So you have to kind of look inside the book a little bit and the pictures and, and just see just how detailed they are because some of the books are very detailed. Some of them are not. This one is Christmas Trees. Now, I have done flip-throughs of these holiday ones on my channel, so you can go back and search the videos and look for those if you want to see a close-up close flip-through. I will tell you, um, now today's date is June 28th, yeah, June 28th, um, so... This is going to be a, I'm going to be uploading this as soon as I get this filmed. And I'll tell you the books that I have done flip throughs of so far um, that's been uploaded on my channel that you can go back and, and look for. And oh my gosh, we're getting some thunder. Not good. <laughs> okay, so this one is ho Ugly Holiday Sweaters. I have done a flip through on that one. This one is Winter Wonderland. I have done a flip through and review on this one as well. And then this one is Whimsical Gardens, which I have also done a flip through and review on. Okay. Okay, so the next we have Flower Fashion Fantasies. A lot of these I've shot flip throughs, but some of them I have not uploaded yet. Uh, Fabulous Fashions of the 1950s. Fanciful Faces. Owls. Uh, Entangled Dragonflies. Designer Desserts. This is going to be a lot of fun to color in. I've not uh, colored in any of this one yet, but that's going to be fun to do. Spring Scenes. I just recently got one, got this one not too long ago. Dimensions. Uh, Tessellation Patterns. And Dream Doodles. I'm not going to do any kind of flip throughs on these in this video because you'll be seeing flip throughs and reviews of these books and I have a lot of them so I'm not going to show you any of the pages because we would be here all day if that was going to be the the case okay so this one here is oh and I'm hitting the camera sorry guys celestial mandalas mandalas you know what? I caught myself doing mandalas again celestial mandalas <laughs> um, mandala techalations there we go. Try to get it so the books are in frame. Uh, Enchanted Fairies. I was requested to do a flip through and review on that one, which I will do very soon. Dazzling Dogs. This one is super cute for those of you that like dogs. Art Deco Fashions. And then this one is Ornamental Fashions. This one is super pretty. Really, really like that one. Next we have Art Nouveau Animal Designs. Next one is Color Your Own Monet. Um, I just recently got that one in the haul that I showed you guys yesterday. Color Your Own Italian Renaissance. Um, this is Norman Rockwell Classics. This one is Jazz Age Fashions. Again, one I just picked up um, this week. Um, the Saturday Evening Post Americana. And then this last one from the actual Creative Haven is the uh, Paisley Patterns. This is one of the deluxe versions. This is one of those like four-in-one books that you can get. Um, they, I know that they have one for mandalas and they have ones for other things. But this one has four uh, Paisley Pattern books all in one large, large, large book. And I was to show you how thick that is. I mean, that'll keep you busy for years and years and years and years and years. So yeah. All right. So those are all of the, um, creative Haven ones. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to the Dover publications. So this first one I have is the art masterpieces to color. You have seen this one in my hall yesterday. I will be right back and I'm going to go get the next batch. All right, next I'm going to show you guys all of the Dover books I have. Now, as I said, they are the same publisher, but it's, you know, under a different name, but they are the same uh, company that puts out 
uh, both uh, both of these books. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the Dover ones. Now, I'll show you the differences between the Dover and the Creative Haven. Now, this is the Geometrical Patterns coloring book. This is actually one of the very, very first coloring books I ever got when I started in this hobby. And I've colored quite a bit in this one, actually. You have seen me do quite a bit in this book. Um, let me just show you a couple of the ones that I did. Um, I did this one. And I did this one. Now, one thing with the Dover ones, now the Creative Haven ones are single-sided, but the Dover ones are double-sided, and it feels like it's slightly, slightly different paper. Um, the Some of the designs in the Dover books are a little bit simpler than, um, than others in the actual Creative Haven ones. There's another one that I've colored in. Um, another one there that I've colored in back in my bad old days when I wasn't very good at it at all. <laughs> Same thing for here. So yeah, you've seen a lot of these pictures that I've colored in because I've showed them on videos. So this one I've been using for my test book uh, for the different colored pencils and stuff that I have. And um, it's just one of these that um, I can just kind of do some mindless color coloring in. And uh, so I will always think of this one as just sort of one of my first... Um, I'm going to think of this as my crash dummy book because I have borked up designs in it. I have just, um, you know, made some poor color choices. It was back in the battle days where I was definitely a beginner, um, which I am much better at it now. <laughs> so I will always have a special place in my heart for this book. So next I have Civil War Fashions Coloring Book, Fairy Fashions, Fashions of the Roaring Twenties, Empire Fashions, Fashions of the Old South, Victorian Fashions, Gaudi's Fashions, Famous Fairy Tales, Goddesses, Princesses, Angels, the next one is Stories from the Old Testament. That one I definitely want to start coloring in, absolutely. Uh, late Victorian and Edwardian fashions. Next is Dragons coloring book. Then we have Unicorns. Mermaids. Mythical Mermaids, Wondrous Wizards, Fairyland, Mystical Mandalas, Infinite, De Infinite Designs Coloring Book, that looks kind of more like a 3D one. Uh, speaking of 3D, we have 3D Designs. And last but not least of the regular Dover ones is Antique Dolls. Now, I did color uh, a picture directly in the book in this one, and I did this one for a color along. Let me just get that for you guys. Right here, I did this for uh, Laura's color along uh, back in, uh, was it March, I think? Yeah. So there is one picture colored directly in that book. Um, I will be doing a lot more because I really, really love that book. Now, um, those are all for the regular Dover ones. Now, I do have some stained glass books, and I will show you a couple of pages out of one of these so you can see what the paper and stuff looks like. But they have, um, these are under the Dover name, but these are stained glass books, which are a little bit different than the, um, you know, than the regular coloring books. Now, I have uh, quite a few of these, okay? So let me just go ahead and start showing these to you guys. So the first one I have is Mermaids, okay? So here's what the cover looks like. It is a, a Dover publication book. But as you open this up, now, um, as you open that up, you're going. It's, it's on this vellum paper, and let me just try to get so that we can, oh my gosh, I don't want to tear it. Let me get so we can try to see this a little bit. I don't have, I should have grabbed some white paper to show this to you guys. But look at this. It's on this vellum paper, okay? It's this very, very thin vellum paper. So when you're coloring in something like this, you want to put a piece of white paper behind this because if you don't, and if you leave it in the book, you're going to get distracted by the next design underneath here of the next page. But these books are, these pages are perforated, so you will be able to tear them out um, if you want to. 
and put them in a notebook or now the the concept or whatever the whole idea is to um color it in and they say that you can hang this up in your window as a stained glass painting or window but I don't know I'd be a little bit careful of that because like if you if you do that you want to get something to color with that is light fast because if not if you leave it directly in the sunlight it's going to fade over time so I would you know if you're going to hang it up I would protect it a little bit so yeah but yeah as you can see each design is on this vellum paper. It's very, very thin vellum paper. Listen to that. And uh, so here is what it looks like on the page. But uh, as I said, if you're going to color in something like this, either tear the page out or uh, put something in between the pages because you will be distracted by the next design. So, but these are very, very interesting. I really like these books and I'm going to be kicking myself because I practically tore the page out of this. Ah! These will come out kind of easily if you're not careful with it, as you have just seen. So, um, those are the stained glass books. Now, I really like these and I think these are going to be some good material for a color and gab because I want to show you guys just exactly how they work which I think would be, I think you guys might enjoy that. You don't really see too many videos on the stained glass books, so I, wanna, um, I want to uh, show those to you guys. So this one here is Wizards and Dragons. Amazing Angels. We have Old Testament Scenes. That'd be a pretty one to color in. We have uh, Nativity... Uh, nativity stained glass one. Um, I picked this one up around Christmas time. We have magic garden fairies. We have garden fairies. We have butterfly fairies. And I will do flip throughs of these books as well so you guys can see them. Magical unicorns. Tiffany designs. Eggs from around the world, or artful eggs from around the world. Art Nouveau windows. Then we have Celtic knot work. Then we have fanciful butterflies. Next one is dogs. This one is so cute. And we have witches. And last but not least is we have Fairyland. Um, this one is called uh, Richard Doyle's Fairyland. Richard Doyle, um, I know that he has illustrated several of these books. So, Fairyland. All right, so that concludes the collection from Creative Haven and Dover. Um, I've shown you all of the regular books plus all the stained glass ones that I do have. And I really like looking for new um, stained glass books. I really like those stained glass books. And as I said, when you know, a lot of times when I'm shopping on Amazon, I will just throw something like that in the cart because they are relatively inexpensive. So if you want to see any flip throughs of any of those books, uh, just let me know. And I would be glad to do that. I'll put that at the top of the list if um, if there's something that anybody wants to see right away. I'll do that. Um, if there's any of these books that you want to see me color in for a color and gab, let me know. I can certainly do that because um, I think that would be good color and gab material so you guys can see um, just what that is all about. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave comments in the description section of the video. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and, um, and let me know. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you think anyway, even if you don't have any questions. Hit that like button many times over. Give it a big thumbs up. You all subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And while you are at it, hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You all have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.